when I first met Shallow and Christina, I mean, that was a long time ago. That was, that was like eight years ago, I think. And I don't think any of us, I didn't even know Julia. And I, I wouldn't meet Julia for another like four years. So, um, yeah, none of us really knew where, where the project was going to go. Um, and that was kind of one of the more beautiful things about it, I think, is that the story kind of unfolded throughout the multiple years and dedication that Shell and Christina put into it. Um, that it was very open-ended, and uh, I think you can kind of see that in the movie, that that okay. the story is, is of love over time throughout an entire sport uh, and a group of people, but uh, it took a long time for that to develop, to develop. So we had absolutely no idea what it was going to be for a very, very long time. So was kind of cool oh they did like an amazing job we definitely uh didn't expect that it would be that way also of course it's just like a normal life our normal life you know we're like just living day by day and we, you never know what's gonna happen you know the next day is also always a surprise so when we watch it it we, I don't think they could even do a better job because it was just so perfect it was amazing they they showed exactly how our community is and uh, how we live life and that that's the beautiful message that they they sent to the world is like oh maybe we all should be a little bit more like those space jumpers that like live life to the fullest so i think it was really really nice and everybody like we now we go to the drop zone skydive drop zones and everybody come talk to us like oh my god the movie was so good we loved yeah. it so much you, you guys did an awesome job thanks so much for showing your community to the world and like showing so well because sometimes we are like miss um understood you know from yeah. everybody else who we call like nor normal people <laughs> and i think we can say yeah yeah <laughs> And I think that, that that was really good, like to show that other side. We're not just adrenaline junkers and crazy people like yeah. trying to jump up. We actually like do it for love and loving life. I mean, I would say most of the most of the, the negative conclusions that certain people from the public can take from even just watching the movie have a basis in truth. Like, and I think again, Shell and Christina did a really good job of being like. You know, there is, we are open to criticism on ourselves as a community because a lot of the, the negative things, the tragedies and the bad things that happen, they, we know. But I guess uh, the one thing that maybe people will, will not understand that we just probably can't help them understand is the reason why. Why would you keep jumping? Why would you keep doing it through all of that? And we can't really answer that question to certain people that just don't understand because this is who we are this is what we do we love to fly and uh you know to us it's worth it's worth the tragedy it's worth the heartache it's worth all the the bad stuff that we have to go through so some people probably will never understand and we get that you know kind of live and let live and what a lot of people don't know is like we we do have like studies on all the fatalities we have like a group where people discuss and try like, oh, how can we prevent that? How can we make it better? How can we make it like less fatalities? But in the end, if you actually think about it, like people die driving cars every day, well, probably way more than, than jumping, yeah. And uh, so people don't understand that. Like we do like try to mitigate the risks and, and, and the, the death and everything. We, we wouldn't be doing it otherwise. Yeah finding passion and and maintaining that passion throughout life without but you know understanding that passion comes with risk it wouldn't and that's anything in life like you can be passionate about you know painting or making music or any of those things if you go too far down the rabbit hole and you let it absorb you has comes with a lot of risk maybe some worse than others um but i think they they do show that quite well and also, like, I'd say taking risks and, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, accepting fear and, like, going through it. It helps you making decision life in general, like, uh, if you want to 
move to a new country and then when you face that all the time like the fear you just accept it uh easier or maybe you learn how to accept to make changes in your life and that's how, what's life about right uh, change and progressing and evol evolving so i think that it's pretty nice like that what the movie shows to people that maybe they should take more risks and and change more and maybe you don't have to jump off a cliff and wingsuit on but, <laughs> but don't be afraid of change don't be afraid yeah. of a, a set embrace the the new Pleasure for me, like when in the movie they're jumping, like right now I always tell people, they're like, hey, do you continue to jump? You have like the two years old. I'm like, yes, because if I don't do what I love, I cannot be the, the best mom for my son. So it's very important to, to, you, to be true to yourself and do the stuff you love so you can be there for your son and teach him how to, to pursue his goals and... and love his life and in as an individual as well uh, i mean when both of us started uh myself especially the sport was a lot smaller there was a lot less people doing it less less information there's a lot less information out there we you know when both of us started we pretty much had to figure it out mostly on our own and it was way more dangerous i would say incredibly more dangerous but nowadays uh there's a lot more people interested in it so there's a lot more people getting involved in it you know at least at varying degrees of risk or how far they want to get into it there's a lot more people trying it so it's and we also learn with other people's mistakes as well so like that progress is also the wingsuits have uh, progressed a lot they're like they're a lot, a lot, the technology of how we make the parachutes or the wingsuits so it is a lot safer but in that aspect but how people end up in accidents and stuff it's decision making it's like it's yourself it's human error for sure when you when you make things slightly easier you also kind of open the door for poor decision making and that's kind of what we're seeing nowadays um i would like to think we've actually made this the sport substantially safer but it's the next battle is getting into the minds of people getting into it early on and convincing them that there's a lot more to live for rather than just being risky and being radical and gnarly and you know taking on more and more risk rather than just enjoying it for what it is which is flying being in the mountains spending time with friends yeah. you know, the beautiful parts of why we continue doing it uh you know those are the things that keep us doing it rather than just being crazy and out there and you know, trying to impress people on the internet or whatever. Yeah, after you do that for a while, like, it, you realize that it's not about it. Like, it, there's a lot more involved. But in the beginning, unfortunately, that's what gets people. They're like, oh, I want to do that, what I saw on YouTube and stuff. So yeah, that's the mentality that we would like to change in the sport, for sure. That uh, what it matters is who is still alive after all those years and still jump like Marta that has been jumping since 1986 and it's just amazing like she's for yeah. sure like an idol in the sport and and is still out there and jumping and, and I that's what we want the the base jumpers to to the mentality to change is like hey it's way better to be alive and stay in the sport that's what our idols are not the ones that are dead and and chasing like mountains down and I'd say we're pretty optimistic yeah. About the future. It's getting better. That's There's just a lot more a lot more people doing it now. That's the big yeah. thing. I think these days for sure there's a lot more girls, a lot more women than back in the day. Um mm -hmm. maybe because of some women, like most of the women, they take less risk, right? They're way more like cautious about uh a lot of things. They don't like to take much risks and when they do they're very, very pred pragmatic about it and now with a lot more information and courses if we, and seeing other girls doing it for sure that brings more women in the sport it is still a, a mainly men and it's very funny when like some new woman shows up in the sport all the guys kind of come like oh my god new woman in the <laughs> <laughs> So the hard part about it is that there's always someone to that just 
don't want the best intention for you. Like always a guy that is not necessarily wants the best intention for, for you, just want to take you to be with them or get on bed with you. And then they don't worry much about your safety. And then on the woman's side, she's like, I want to jump, I want to learn. So it's still like you you have to be cautious about that. You have to like know how to separate the guy that just wants to get into your pants uh, from the learning process and the interest for sure that, that, that exists because mainly of the sport is like, Man. It's, it's kind of the better part for for us in general when when we met she already had a thousand base jumps so it's like yeah i didn't really and the other thing her. the other thing i noticed is like we we teach base jumping and sometimes some guys like they just don't take it very well uh, learning from a woman you know they think like well you don't know i think that's like with everything not only in the sport but with everything in the world like they think like oh you if you can, or something like, if you can do it, I cannot probably do it. And they don't understand oh, yeah. that experience behind you. <laughs> That's the other thing that happens a lot for sure. Yeah, the funny thing is that like during the IMAX uh, shows and we had like, we had, I had a lot of women messaging me or coming to me yeah. straight in presence and saying like, crying and saying like, oh my God, thanks so much for, because I stopped, I lost my soul. I stopped jumping. I stopped this when I had a kid. And now I feel like I want to get back to it. I feel like I lost myself and I'm not as happy. So thanks so much so much for showing me that, that I need to rescue myself again. So that was pretty nice, like those uh, feedback from women. 